It's good to have friends, isn't it? I like having friends. I mean, who, who doesn't want to have friends? Everybody wants to have a friend. You watch Toy Story, you know you got a friend in me. Everyone likes having friends. You you may have a big circle of friends, like everybody's your friend, the yearbook you're voted most popular, most kind, most whatever. Or you may just have a few friends. But the thing is, it's never good for man to be alone, right? In the beginning, God made the woman so man was not alone. God doesn't want you to be alone. Hopefully one day he'll give you a husband or a wife. But it'll also give you friends. If you're a guy, good guy friends. If you're a girl, good girlfriends. Sometimes it can go the other way, but I'm a big fan of when Harry met Sally. It's hard for guys and girls to be friends. But you know, that's a movie argument, and that's not what we're about today. But the thing is, having good friends is a great thing. But what about when your friends aren't your friends anymore? <laughs> to be a friend is to live sacrificially. Remember, Jesus says this, No greater love hath one than this, than one lay down his life for his friends. And that's what friends do. They live for each other. They make sacrifices for each other. They're there for each other. But when your friend's not there for you, it's a betrayal. Look at Christ. One of his apostles betrays him. Betrays him. And Jesus knew this. He knew this when he called Judas. Here's the dude that's going to betray me. He knew it. And yet still went to the cross for him and for you. So you're going to have friendships that go awry. You're going to have friends that betray you. You're going to have someone that you thought was your best friend in the world. When you walk into a room, all of a sudden they go quiet because they were talking smack about you. It's going to ruin your reputation. It's going to hurt. You're going to feel alone. But you're never alone. Christ is always with you. So even though friends may come and go, Christ will never leave you nor forsake you. You're going to have many reasons to doubt his love as you see people time and time again let you down or take advantage of you or even abuse you. But Christ will never do that. So I pray that God will give you good friends in your life, friends that forgive you, friends that build you up, friends that strengthen you, friends that even correct you when you need it. What I also pray for is that when you don't get that, you know that Christ is still there for you. He's never going anywhere. God bless y'all.